Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 aircraft list as well as a cost breakdown and some data analytics along the way. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what we have going on of course is that we have probably the announcement you saw just the other day that Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is now finally ready to go ahead and get itself uh, pre-ordered as everyone needs to go. Now for some of you, you probably know that the Microsoft website version kind of got dibs. For those of you who are Steam users, you're going to have to wait until September 26th to get your hands on the pre-order. Now what you're taking a look here is you're actually looking at the main uh, little FAQ that comes off the Zendesk. Uh, we'll actually have a little link down below if you want to kind of poke around with it. But one of the things they did is they gave us this beautiful little list of all the different airplanes we're going to be seeing in Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Among other things, obviously, kind of a deal. So when I first saw this list, I saw it and said, hey, well, that's pretty cool. I see some new airplanes in here. I see some interesting airplanes in here. But that didn't satisfy me in the uh, way that I wanted to be satisfied. So, of course, um, me being me, I had to open up a spreadsheet and start going to town and trying to discover, was there anything interesting that I can conclude or determine other than the fact that um, aircraft is getting dangerously close to a stall at the moment? So I probably want to give it just a little bit less uh, nose here. Uh, put the nose down just a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit safer. Much, 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 much better. Fantastic. Ugh, go ahead and make sure everything's all set. There we go. Fantastic. So uh, what I did is I started working out a little spreadsheet here and trying to figure out what I could find. So my first version looked a little bit like this. It wasn't bad. It was pretty good. You know, not too, too crazy. Uh, my second version looked a little bit like this. And I started going, okay, I'm starting to notice something here. And um, I got this little scratch in the back of my brain. I call it my data scratch. And it was starting to tell me that I need to look at this data even more. So I, like I said, I built my little thing here. I had some help a little bit with some online searches and things to try to figure out what exactly we were getting with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 aircraft. Haha, <laughs> I should probably fix that. So we had some new problems, of course. Uh, one of the problems being that uh, whenever you're doing any of these, you have to figure out what's new and what's not. That's kind of a trick question, as you probably are well aware, because of the fact that in Flight Sim, some of these aircraft are third-party aircraft. So even though we got them, we didn't really get them, you know what I mean? So I went ahead and did the best I could with that. And then I said, well, let's do some analysis, shall we? So the first analysis I took a look at is, do we have more jets, more propellers? What do we have? So I did it by propulsion. And uh, what I probably expected is uh, roughly kind of the things you sort of see. Uh, we have some interesting things. Obviously, piston planes absolutely dominate uh, the new plane list as well as the old plane list here. We got a 54% piston. Uh, coming over here, of course, the turboprops, uh, good, no, so pretty sizable majority. And you can see, of course, a jet. Well, one of the things I found very interesting about the new flight simulator list here is the fact that electric is now more represented than it ever has been, keeping in mind that there's a lot of new electric airplanes out there that are starting to come out. And um, that's an interesting phenomenon, and I really wish to explore it some more. So, of course, I sat there going, okay, this checks. Uh, most of these are piston planes, so uh, eh, whatever. What else can you tell me? So I started doing a little bit more digging here, and, of course, I split it by purpose. Now, trying to identify the purpose of an airplane is a bit challenging. So a couple things I found out right away. Uh, first of all, our winner here is general aviation. Uh, Flight Sim, Microsoft Flight Sim, I should say, has always been a general aviation kind of experience. So you can see here, it makes up the bulk majority here. Commercial, of course, uh, chilling here at about 19.4%. Not too, too bad. And of course, down from there, we have utility. Uh, we have a bunch of firefighter planes now. We actually have a couple of these, including the uh, 747 Mega Bomber, which is pretty wild if you ask me. And of course, light sport makes up a hefty chunk. The other thing you'll notice here is electric planes, rather than just having the velocity, we actually have a wide variety of electric planes here. So then I'm like, okay, this data is starting to come together. This data is starting to come together. Let's go take a peek at our current journey here, making sure everything looks good. Ah, there we go. You can see we're taking that nice gentle turn there, heading over to Teterboro here from uh, Boston, making a nice and easy uh, experiencing the T-33, which is just such a cool plane. All right, so back to the action here. So of course, by purpose here, you can see very clearly general aviation is the purpose. So then I'm like, okay, okay, uh, do they have a bias maybe about manufacturers? So I did some research on this and this required a little bit of work on my part to try to kind of narrow some of this down. But as you can see here, um, we have a couple biases. Uh, one you'll notice, of course, is uh, Cessna represents 10% of the total planes available. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, Boeing here represents a very good chunk of this. And uh, when I originally did Boeing, I actually had to identify the Boeing from Boeing, which I thought was kind of neat. But they make up a good uh, chunk of all of this, as you can probably see down here. Then, of course, Airbus makes about the same chunk as far as uh, all the different aircraft that we have available on here. One of the things I found very interesting, though, is if you look really, really carefully, uh, if you ever had two planes, you get two. Dornier is actually up there as well. And if you cruise over here, you'll notice that Beechcraft has a pretty hefty chunk as well. Uh, where things get interesting, too, is um, you can come up here and actually see Curtis. It uh, makes its way up this list as well. So I thought that was interesting. 
Now, now for the most important part of the entire video. This is uh, the kicker is you're probably well aware that there are multiple versions of this particular new program that's gonna be coming out. You know, everybody's excited. You can buy 70 bucks for this version. Oh, you have a nice little breakdown of all the specification and everything. And uh, you're asking yourself, what version of this game should I buy or should I pre-order? Well, let's do some math for you, shall we? And so what I did is I took how many airplanes you get. Now, keep in mind, many of the airplanes in Flight Sim are not new airplanes. And if you wanna get the standard version, it's gonna cost you about 70 bucks US and you get a dollar a plane, just about. It's 99.99 cents. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. If you get the deluxe version, you get a few more planes and your price per plane spikes to $1.25. So I'm like, well, that's crazy. So of course, if you get the premium version, 95 planes, it's 130 US for a flight simulator game. Of course, I own quite a bit of DCS, so I know what expensive planes are, but still. Uh, you'll see here that it's $1.37. Uh, when we go up to the Aviator Edition, which is $200, and no, they don't send you a flight stick or anything, it is $1.60 per plane, and you get $125. Now, the reason I'm going to caution you on this, however, is when you get the Aviator version for $200, yeah, the price per plane is not terrible here, but one of the things you have to know is you have to realize these are all the classic planes that you probably bought. These are those uh, kind of, you know, plane of the months, I like to kind of call them the classics. So they only give you all 30 of those for free. Now for me, I own most of those. So if I were to put this money down, I basically wasted 60 bucks, which is kind of one of those things where it's like, well, that's not very fair. Now, just for the purposes of comparison, I also tossed that next plane 12, because this is my, my own curiosity. And yes, this number might not be 100% accurate, but it's the best I could do with the quick research that I did. You'll notice you're getting hosed if it's aircraft that you're interested in. You're looking for a bit of a graph like that that looks like this. So a couple of little things I want to throw for the haters gonna hate over here. Um, first of all, you get better handcrafted airports the higher the version you get. And also, of course, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 planes will still work, or they should still work with Microsoft 2024. I completely expect them not to work perfectly, only on account of the fact that there's gonna be a lot of little things that are probably gonna be broken with the aerodynamics and everything along those lines, and it's gonna give us all sorts of issues. So uh, what I've done, of course, is I've made this available. If you go down to the comments below, you can poke around this. I have no doubt in my mind I have made some mistakes. As a matter of fact, give me a second. There we go. So a count of new. So this is interesting here. This is the percentage of new planes versus old planes. Keep in mind, this new plane also includes all of those famous flyers. So this is probably closer to a third if you're looking for this. So as you can see, it's kind of an interesting spread. I'll go ahead and provide you with this uh, spreadsheet if you want to poke on it myself. I have no doubt I've made mistakes on it only because I am fallible. I know a little bit about airplanes, but I am no expert. And uh, one thing I'm gonna throw out there, there are some hot air balloons on this list now, which is actually pretty exciting. Enjoy.